Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just ended a major Democrat's career in five minutes. President Trump doesn't mince words. It's one of the things that many people love and hate him for. And he just took it to a new level after ending a major Democrat's career in five minutes. The latest assault launched by Democrats was on Trump's personal physician, Dr. Ronnie Jackson. After nominating him as the VA secretary, the left began attacking him with false accusations. They tried to attack the character of Dr. Jackson, despite the fact that he was extremely well respected by all prior to Trump's presidency. Former Presidents Obama and George W. Bush both had great things to say about him. But that didn't matter, as soon as he was nominated for a position in Trump's cabinet, they all turned on him. Leading the charge with the false accusations was U.S. Senator John Tester of Montana. And Trump isn't going to let him get away with it. While speaking on Thursday's edition of Fox & Friends, President Trump went after Tester, telling him that the people of Montana respect and admire him, and aren't going to like what he said about Jackson. Bringing up the voters of Montana is something that should put fear into the heart of Senator Tester. Trump is extremely popular among the voters of Montana. In 2016, he won the state with over 20 percent more voters than Hillary Clinton. With the Trump wave leading towards mistrust in conservative-leaning Democrats, especially in states like Montana, it would be in Tester's best interest to be on Trump's good side. As reported by Breitbart. On Thursday's edition of the Fox News Channel's Fox & Friends, President Trump reacted to Dr. Ronnie Jackson's withdrawal as nominee to be VA secretary by stating the accusations against Jackson were all false and that Senator John Tester's D -mount treatment of Jackson will cause Tester to have a lot of problems in his state. Trump said, John Tester, I think this is going to cause him a lot of problems in his state. He added, you know, these are all false accusations that were made. F for John Tester to start bringing up stuff like Candyman, and the kind of things he was saying, and then say, well, you know, these are just statements that are made. There's no proof of this, and he has a perfect record. He's got this beautiful record, unblemished. I think John Tester has to have a big price to pay in Montana. Because I don't think people in Montana, the admiral is the kind of person that they respect and admire, and they don't like seeing what's happened to him. If Trump continues with his tirade against Senator John Tester until his next election, it could lead to disastrous results for the Montana Democrat. Only time will tell what happens, but being on Trump's bad side sure isn't good for him. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.